Hello YouTube, today I have the only builds you need to play 3's Eliminators. Let's get straight into it. The first build is a power forward with gold truculence. If you're trying to build any type of team comp, don't worry as much if you're playing solo drop-ins about having gold truck, but if you're playing with a full squad or even just two players, one of you guys should have either gray or gold truculence. It is so important in 3's Eliminators because there is no penalties. There's no interference, there's no elbowing, there's no charging. Please, one of you guys run some sort of truculence. Being able to disrupt the enemy team with this is so crucial. But let me get straight into the breakdown. I'm not going to break down every single little thing about this build. I trust you guys to copy it down and also make it your own. If you see anything in these builds you want to change, feel free to do so. Before I continue with this video, an important message. Only 14% of the people who watch this video are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the content and you want to see more, please... Hit that sub button. Used to be at 12%, then we hit 13. Now we are at 14. Let's aim for 15, guys. Shout out to Mangoes. I've seen you commenting. I know this took me so long, but I haven't played Threes Eliminators in a minute. I had to reacquaint myself. I had to do some research. That's why it took so long to get this out to you. I hope it is up to your standards, Mangoes. I've seen you in the comments. I've seen you been toiling. I dedicate this one to you, man. And if any of you guys have any builds that you want to see or any NHL content you want me to make, Feel free to leave a comment down below. I always read all the comments. Love to read them. Love to engage. I love the feedback. All right. And you guys have anything to say, feel free to leave a comment. And also check out the Twitch. First link in the description. All of this stuff, except for the builds and the intros, is filmed live on Twitch. So if you guys want to check out, hop into the live. I'd love to have you all there. Um, that's enough yapping. Back to the build yapping. I'll see you guys in the rest of the video. 6'2", 195 pounds, 90 overall body checking, 90 overall strength, puck on a string, elite edges, and the boost. That's what really stands out about this build, okay? If you get the puck in close to the tendy, you should be scoring with puck on a string. Forehand, backhand goes in every time, especially against these threes eliminators goalies. But if you're not using this in threes eliminators, you can still find great success with all these builds I'm going to give you today. But I am catering these towards specifically threes eliminators. Elite edges is not a necessary ability at all. You can put whatever you want in this slot. I'm just rocking elite edges because I like to cook up a little bit once in a while, even though I am a power forward, even though I'm truculent trying to run people over. I like to cook up a little bit, so I got elite edges on here. Feel free to change this to whatever you want. As I said, that strength, I love it at 90. If you're going to be running people around, there's going to be people who want to fight back and having that 90 strength, being able to retain your posture through those hits is so important. I'm also running this at kind of a center build. It's 90 overall face-offs. You don't need 90 face-offs. You can really just take this down and bring Deacon up because there's only like one face-off every game and it's not that important. But if you want that face-offs, I'm running, I'm running it up just because I feel like it. I want to win that one face-off. I want to send a message to the other team that we're not going to give up an inch, but you can obviously put that into Deacon. 90 speed and 90 excel is a little bit overboard. If you find yourself getting knocked off a little bit, I'd bring speed down a touch and bring that balance up. That being said, I'm not going to break down every little attribute change. You can make this your own. You can copy this stuff down. I'm not going to hold your hand through this whole video. Build number two. Two-way defenseman. Had to go with gold shutdown. Great poke checks at that 6-2 with that great length on your stick. You get great poke checks. You can also run people over. But more importantly is this quick pick and 93 overall defensive awareness. If you don't have somebody who can pick off every single pass that comes their way, then you will get torched by 1T. 1T goes in from everywhere in 3's Eliminators. As if you get another team with a full comp with one guy with 1T who knows how to aim them and they know how to get them to puck, it is tough. It is tough out there. So this build is catered to shut that down and to assist with your 1T player that you hopefully have on your team. But more about that in the next build. I already told you about strength. I'm running 89 strength. You want to be able to stay upright and keep your posture through contact, especially if you're the last man back. You might get targeted a couple times. I already talked about defense awareness and how crucial it is to shut down that opposing 1T. So let me go into this speed and excel. It is 88-88. It's a little bit overkill, especially for a defenseman. The speed is not nearly as important in 3's eliminators. There's not enough ice to burn the edges or to back check and really make a huge difference so you can take the stuff down bring up balance bring up your shots if you want to try that i wouldn't recommend going too low but don't feel the need to stay attached to this speed and acceleration that being said i don't have a whole lot to break down with this toy defenseman build play it how you like it if you want to shut down a 1t player this is the way to do it 
and having shutdown also helps you just play phenomenal defense one on one quick pick for the two on ones this should help your defense on your team dramatically but let me get into the last build and the reason why most of you are probably here the sniper with one t if you have a full team even if you don't have a full team but if you have a full team and they can consistently get you pucks and you can aim your one timers well this build will get you a disgusting amount of goals. I find that 1T is so unbelievably gross. Paired with elite edges and truculence, this build is nasty. 97 offensive awareness. I'm getting ahead of myself though. Let me let me dig deeper into this build and tell you how I like to use it, how you can play it, how you can make it your own. 5 foot 10, 180 pounds with 1T. If you want to change 1T, the only reason I would do this is if the people who you play with, your friends, have rocks in their heads and they're horrible at passing. Or if you just want to snipe more or if you're playing drop-ins, Heat Seeker and Make It Snappy can help you snipe from pretty far out with this build. Just doing it all yourself. But 1T is definitely the way to go. You can get gross one-timers in this game mode, I promise you. Elite edges I'm putting on just to avoid body checks. You're not big with this build. 81 balance, 85 strength. You can get ran over especially if you start scoring some gross goals with this an opposing power forward an opposing truculence player will target you if you are nasty with these one timers so having elite edges and this high speed is basically just to get away from the other players you have to play you know tag you're it and run away i'm also rocking great truculence with this build but you actually don't really need it that bad okay if you have a gold truculence on your team you, you can put this off and bring something else, you know, maybe you want a dangling ability or something defensive minded. You need to change your stats to get a poke check build or a shutdown, but you can change your stats. Feel free to do that. All I'm saying is if you're playing by yourself, don't count on your teammates, okay? Don't go in there thinking they're going to play great defense or even that they're going to give you great passes, okay? Go in there with some truculence. Be prepared to put the team on your back and that's why I have this on here but if you're playing with some buddies and they can fill the other roles such as truculence then put something else here don't be afraid to change any of these builds those are my best threes eliminator builds but for you people who watch this video all the way through I'm gonna give you a little extra present this is my favorite build in the game right now I'm not gonna do any breakdown on it I just want to share it with you guys because I'm absolutely loving it I'm playing this mainly in threes in EASHL, but I hopped into one game of Eliminators using this build and I won my first game with it. This build works in every single game mode. Please copy it down and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. This is not easy for me either. But one more thing, one more thing before you yeah, go, Skip. Okay. One more thing. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, no, I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had.